commentary YouTubers lying and avoiding accountability? Shocker. No, but for real, this one was a shocker to me because I used to think Keisha was one of those people who always told the truth no matter how ugly it was. I remember watching her and being like, wow, I wish I was as honest as her. Sometimes I ran away from the truth, but Keisha always seemed to chase the truth. While I was doing research on Gretty Reversing, the lady that sells skin bleaching products, I saw this video on her channel called Skin Bleaching. This YouTuber tried to expose me but exposed herself. The YouTuber that Gretty talks about in this video is Keisha. Gretty made this video in response to a video Keisha made about her called this youtuber tried to expose me but i exposed her first here's the backstory Grady's virtual assistant reached out to keisha for a brand deal with Grady's company Grey rivian you know the one that sells skin bleaching products and keisha accepted the brand deal now keisha has been very vocal in the past about how she's against skin bleaching so what was she doing promoting Grady's brand i understand that Grady's brand also sells other non-skin bleaching products like hydrating face masks but that's besides the point the brand still sells skin bleach They're Therefore, by promoting this brand, Keisha was still indirectly promoting their skin bleaching products. She brought more customers to a brand that stands for something she so strongly believes is wrong. Keisha not only promoted a company that sells skin bleaching products, but after she realized how bad that looked, she tried to do damage control with this video, where I'm 95% sure she lied a lot. What exactly did she lie about, you may be asking? Well, let's watch her video, and I'll tell you along the way. Today's video is going to be about someone trying to expose me. It's really disappointing that someone's going to try and come for me because you know you can't. Gretty never tried to expose her or come for her though. Gretty said that she didn't even know that Keisha made a video condemning her until someone told her after Keisha did the brand deal. Gretty's video on this situation reacts to this video so this isn't what Keisha is referring to. I don't know what expose Keisha is referring to exactly however I think that she's talking about a video Gretty made reacting to Keisha's review of the Garibian products. According to the email Gretty showed in her video that reaction video was part of the brand deal so no one was exposing you girl. I think that she felt exposed because she put the review on her Instagram where she only had 14,000 followers at the time instead of on her YouTube channel where she had 140,000 subscribers so most of her audience wouldn't know what she did. After Gretty put it on YouTube most of her audience could find it and she was exposed in a way. I don't think Gretty meant to expose her I think she was just doing business. In my opinion Keisha exposed herself by taking that brand deal in the first place. I've tried to like message this person email them any form of communication and contact i've tried to like do that with this person and this person is a grown-ass adult this is business you reached out to me i'm trying to email you back now there is no professionalism at all keisha did dm gretty on instagram and gretty never saw the dms until after keisha posted this video which i agree is very unprofessional to be fair i feel like gretty's brand doesn't look very professional in certain aspects her brand's instagram for example looks very unprofessional there's just pictures and videos of her and her kids just chilling and i think that it overlaps a lot with her personal Instagram. In my opinion, it would be more professional to just have posts about her brand and her brand's Instagram and to keep her personal pictures in her personal Instagram. And I'm gonna tell you guys about everything. The lady that I featured in the bleaching video like seven, eight months ago, I used her as an example and I wasn't even familiar with her name don't even know her prior to making that video. Girl, her name and YouTube channel were in the email that had the brand deal. Later in this video, Keisha conveniently cuts out the part of the email that has Gretty's name and contact information. Also, Gretty is a unique name, I would say, so there's no way that you confused her with some other Gretty. Even if she missed the name, the email asked Keisha to go to their website and pick out products that she would like to review as a part of the brand deal. While I was doing my video on Gretty, I visited her website a few times to learn more about her and her brand. Since Keisha made a a video about her too then she must have seen her website at least once. She also must have seen Gretty's company's name since it's literally all over Gretty's videos. I can almost guarantee you that Keisha knew that this brand was Gretty's brand and that Gretty was the same woman she made a video about. Let's say that she forgot Gretty's name, that she forgot Gretty's company's name and that she didn't see the website while making her video. She still saw the bleaching products on the website after they told her to pick out which products she wanted to review so she knew exactly what this company stood for. Um but I want you guys to basically witness everything with me live in action because I'm not guilty there's I can't feel listen yeah when someone's guilty they feel some type of way but I don't because I know that what I've done is what anybody would have done one time I saw this man I knew and I said hi to him right after I said hi he said I don't think my baby is a bad baby I just think that she acts up sometimes I never mentioned his baby or how she was acting I just said hi and he said this which told me that he was projecting his emotions by saying the opposite of how he feels I hope that that made sense because this is exactly what Keisha is doing here. She's saying that she doesn't feel guilty without the conversation being there yet, which tells me that she feels
feels guilty. Deep inside, she knows that she screwed up and it's manifesting like this. The person emailed me and said, paid collaboration with Grovivian brands on skincare products, dark skin. So with that being said, I don't think anybody would think any type of way about it. I just immediately took that it was a skincare product and it was catering to dark skin. Prior to working with this lady, I'd never worked with like a, a black company at all. So you thought that this was a regular skincare brand because you didn't research enough yet? You researched enough to know that it was black owned? Go buy. We will also be happy to send you the items for free and help provide a free product so you can give a giveaway in the video and ask your audience to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram. The person that told me the location of where they're from didn't tell me too much. They did, she just cut it off. Notice how the screenshot doesn't show the little reply option? That's because the rest of the email has Greddy's contact information. When companies reach out to people through email, they close their emails with something like best regards, comma, some person's name, the person's title, followed by a bunch of contact information. If this company email was so unprofessional that it didn't even include who wrote it or where to contact them, then why are you working with this company? You didn't know they were black owned until you researched them, so why did you even bother researching them at all if according to you this company can't even get the basics down? Oh, that's right, because they did get the basics down and you're hiding that. And then I said, thank you for reaching out, I charge 650 and that is how, and that's how much I charged. Um, for my sponsored videos on my channel, I have checked over your site and there are there were a few items that were eye-catching. I said a few. Um, I will only be promoting the items that I feel will help people deal with their hyperpigmentation rather than skin lightening and bleaching as that contradicts everything I stand for. So as you guys can see, she knew that they sold skin bleach. The links in Keisha's email screenshot are very interesting. She said that she wanted to try Gravivian's black soap, brightening soap, and she cocoa butter. Here's the thing, Gravivian doesn't sell black soap or any of the other items listed here. In fact, Google was so confused when I looked up Gravivian black soap that it asked me if I meant Peruvian black soap. The links say Mitchell Brands, which makes sense because these products are from Mitchell Brands. This leads me to believe that this screenshot was edited because she was supposed to pick up products from the Garibian website and not Mitchell Brands. Here is the actual email with the actual links and if you notice, the second link is a skin bleaching product. In her response to this video, Greddy claimed that Keisha wanted to bleach her skin and that's why she asked for a skin bleaching product, which I don't think is the case. You see guys, when I went on the Garibian website, I couldn't tell if certain products were skin bleaching bleaching products or just skincare products because of the way that they're described. Some of the descriptions say that this product will make your skin glow, but I wasn't always entirely sure if it meant lightening glow as Greddy describes it or brightening glow. Sometimes I had to read the descriptions a few times to grasp if it was a skin bleaching product or not. So if Keisha didn't realize that this product specifically bleached skin, then I don't blame her because the language used in this website blurs the line sometimes. Boom! That is why I can't feel guilty. <laughs> I can't feel guilty. It all keeps coming back to guilt, which emphasizes how guilty she actually feels. This is the third time she said guilty. So then she told me an item that she's gonna send to me, which is the Carmella Essence Sun Kiss Glow. I remember going to check out each individual product and I remember coming across the Carmella Essence Sun Kiss Glow lotion. I was curious by it. I was thinking like, I don't really, you know, look too much into like lotions for my body. It should mean like skincare, but I was curious to see what this could offer that the cocoa butter in my house doesn't have already. So seeing the ingredients like cocoa butter, aloe butter, shea butter, I didn't think those were equivalent to skin, skin lightening whatsoever. And that's why I went with it. The Carmella Essence Sunkiss Glow is not a skin lightening product. In fact, it's the only product under the dark skin is beautiful section. No comment. Their website has sections now, which means that it is easier to see which products are skin bleaching products and which are not. However, it might have had sections already and I was too dumb to see them before. Keisha is implying that this lady sent her a skin bleaching product on purpose to force her to bleach her skin when that's not the case. In fact, after Keisha accidentally asked for an actual skin bleaching product, Greddy told her that that product went against Keisha's brand and instead told her that she would send her the Carmella Essence Sunkiss Glow because it isn't a skin bleaching product. Products that I will receive, please listen with your ear. If you can't hear from there for whatever reason, come closer, sweetheart, because no one can try and expose me. I just think it's funny, it's petty, a grown-ass adult coming after a 19-year-old. Come on, sweetheart. What is she talking about? Is this victimization 101 or hallucination 102? Furthermore, she says, 
Our budget is $300 for one video of unboxing and one photo of you holding up your favorite product so it can be the cover image for our IGTV. We'd also be happy to send you items for free and help provide an extra, okay, we get it. I told her from the get go my charging rate. If you can handle that, great. If you can't, I'm sorry. On her website, you have items that are affordable and in the price rate for a lot of everyday working people. And then you have the items that are very expensive. Now, the items that I chose were items that I felt were affordable for people watching me. Um, so I feel like her not paying me the full amount is a little bit shady because if tons of your items have sold out, it must mean you're making profit. So then I said to her, my budget and yours unfortunately do not seem to match. If that's going to be an issue, I would decline my role in this partnership. And she said, what is your best offer? I said, I charge 650. And then she said, I, we can pay you 500. And I was like, okay, that is an agreement. I said, you know what, fine. So don't work with them. You know, sometimes brands mark a product that's not actually sold out as sold out. So more people would want that product once they say it's back in stock, or maybe they really are greedy mother frickers. So in that case, why are you working with them? Why didn't you just say no? No one is forcing you to do this deal. You are a one woman show. A one woman circus at this point, you make the decisions. You told them your rate, they said we're willing to do $500. $500 was 388 pounds at the time. That's how much they agreed on and that's how much Greddy sent her. Here are the receipts from the transaction. One more proof that she sent her what they agreed on. These are DMs that Keisha sent Greddy after Keisha made the brand video and got paid. I'll read them for you guys because I screw with y'all. Hello sister, we have worked together earlier this year. We had an agreement as you reached out to me and I did my part. I kindly ask that you take down the video as it doesn't represent my brand well. Do you think that she would talk like that to someone who owes her money? Of course she wouldn't. Keisha still felt cheated though as you can see from her pinned comment. She paid you what you agreed on, why are you salty? A lot of people forget their worth when it comes to um, promotions and stuff like- Sounds like you should take your own advice. What you hear is that I say it brightens. And then I put something on the screen that says, the products I selected were for glowy skin. Many items on the site offer skin lightening or brightening, which I am not a fan of, which offer skin bright skin lightening, which I'm not a fan of, but select what interests you and research. Girl, I looked good in this video. I'm gonna actually put that on private because I don't want that video anymore. I don't want to, I don't want this connection with them at all. So. Oh, I bet. So that happened. It was like a week or two later, or maybe even longer. And I was just thinking to myself like, you know, I have videos coming up. How am I going to fit this tutorial, this routine, or like showcase this um, for people? Isn't this something people think about before they take a brand deal? Listen, I know that she has to eat. Everybody has to make their bread at the end of the day, but she didn't have to make her bread from this deal. She herself said that she just wanted to work with Garivian because they are a black owned business. But if by that same token, this black owned business, at least in your opinion, is harming the confidence of darker skinned black women, then doesn't that defeat the purpose? Doesn't this go against your beliefs? Cause I knew I was gonna make an IGTV, which I had nothing wrong with. Cause I'm just gonna put on my Instagram. On my Instagram, I do absolutely anything. She got back to me and she told me there was going to be like a, a, a shipping fee. And I'm thinking. This video is all over the place. One second, she's talking about how she's gonna put the sponsored message on IGTV. The next, she's talking about shipping fees. To be fair, my videos aren't that organized either. Freddy said that she actually paid the international shipping fees and all that Keisha had to do was show the receipt to the delivery person. She was all like, no, you weren't supposed to pay any money. Here's the receipt which settles that. So I remember on a random day, getting a knock on my door. I actually see some ladies standing outside. I'm thinking like, huh? Bitch, I don't know who you is. You don't know who I is. And then she was like, here's your package. I remember this precisely because my family were watching. I put it down and then she was like, okay, where's the money? And I'm thinking, money. And then she called the company. It's not her fault, by the way. She's just doing her job. She called the company and then turns out I had to pay 25. And I was just pissed off so much. Tisha never described showing the receipt to the delivery woman. She said that she just put the package down, the delivery woman asked for the money, and then she gave her the money. I'll be promoting it in my video as I did state that beforehand. 14th of January, two days later. Hello there. I just made my video public and included the items that were sent. She said to me, I want a more review on skincare so everyone will focus on the skin, not something else. And you apply the mask on the video, then you do a giveaway, ask them to follow. So basically, she wasn't happy with what I did in that Nikki tutorials video. So I was like, okay, well that video's already up, I'm not gonna go and take it down because I enjoy the video. Mm -mm, nah, honey. So I can go and do that on my IGTV then. I messaged her on the 16th of January, no reply. The 20th of January, 
no reply. The 23rd of January, I even said, hello there, it's been several days and I need an update as I was promised my cash from your end. It's very unprofessional how you haven't bothered to contact me as this is a business opportunity in both our ends. It was very unprofessional not to reply until a few days later. I get that Gretty's probably a busy woman, but this is one of the things she should be busy with, right? People's time is very valuable, so I don't understand why she's not treating Keisha's time as so, especially since she's a businesswoman. So bearing in mind, I've made the YouTube video promoted the company in the email however you said that you made a mistake and weren't holding up to your end of the deal so now why are you basically saying oh i did all this for them and this is how they treat me you're both in the wrong here you for not holding up to your end of the deal and them for ghosting you i don't know who either you think you are but you better get back in line i'm tired of commentary youtubers not taking responsibility and lying you would think that they'd know better since they criticize so many people yet here they are clowning around i'm not saying that they can't make mistakes because that's impossible but when they do make mistakes why do they have to deny them or lie their way out of them why can't they take their own advice and own up keisha you don't have to be the unproblematic queen you could be the queen that has the bravery to own up when she screws up i don't understand what's happening here 2020 is a heck of a year if this had been for somebody who was here for skin bleaching i think if they charged 650 you would have easily given it to them because they would definitely promote skin bleaching because that's all you care about i think this person has behind the skin brightening the face mask to really just promote the skin bleaching okay sweetheart then why did you work with them you could have said no when they offered you 500 dollars and the world would have kept spinning you shouldn't be here yelling at this company for being awful and not paying you what you want when you knew what they would pay you and that they were awful i feel no empathy for you right now and if that were me in that situation i wouldn't feel any empathy for myself either here are some other screenshots of what happened afterwards we were kind of going back and forth on where i should post the videos because she wasn't happy with how i did mine on my youtube channel so i said let's just do it over my IGTV because my YouTube channel around that time I had been copyrighted two out of three times so one more time something was wrong like anything was wrong maybe if I included a video or said the wrong thing my channel could be permanently terminated so I just didn't want to risk that so I told her IGTV is the best option for us. She said that she couldn't post a routine in her YouTube channel because she already had two to three copyright strikes. No one's gonna copyright strike you for a brand deal or a skincare video the frick. She probably didn't want her subscribers to be disappointed in her. I was constantly telling my family like geez like I, I promote this I did everything for them basically I made the IGTV for them everything pay me my shmoney and then she's like have you posted and i'm like i've been trying to contact you this week i posted the video on igtv if you need that video on youtube you can select my video and upload it if you need something so bad take my video do what you gotta do remember she said that Greta could do whatever she wanted to do with her igtv video when i was typing up my name on youtube just to see like what videos i've done what videos i want to put on private etc a video came up when it said scissor skin bleaches exposing its Keisha and colorism problems and it's by gray square and I don't prom I don't want anyone to go over to her channel and send hate because the lady was absolutely lovely in her video and I was completely okay so apparently bear with me this is the person that exposed Keisha however it doesn't sound like this is who Keisha is referring to at the beginning when she said that someone tried to expose her because if you notice at the beginning Keisha sounded pissed and annoyed but when she talks about this girl she's all like oh she's lovely I love her therefore I think that when Keisha's talking at the beginning she's referring to Gretty exposing her because Gretty is the reason that this girl is exposing Keisha however I'm convinced that the only person exposing Keisha is Keisha so what she's saying is that she loves to watch my channel so she was very confused that she saw my video on this lady's youtube channel promoting bleaching sweetheart we cleared this up like i went i messaged her and told her okay this is kind of heavy let me put it down maybe it's because of what that brand is attached to but i made it loud and clear that i would not be doing that i gave so much disclaimers like how much disclaimers do i have to give for people to realize that i'm not trying to like go against my own word i'm not a hypocrite like that you said it not me um baby girl you knew what that brand was attached to there are no amount of disclaimers in the world that could make sure that you're not promoting skin bleaching while you're promoting this brand. Even if most of your audience is against skin bleaching, there are always going to be these outliers that are going to be exposed to this brand through you and start bleaching their skin. Those outliers will always exist and that's one reason why you don't do things like these. As for hypocrisy, you're being a hypocrite on more than one level right now. There you were promoting this company that is against something that you stand for and getting paid from the money they made from it. 52% of the products this company Company sells bleached skin and now here you are avoiding accountability and lying like all the other people you criticize oh but poor you now your subscribers know what you did embarrassing 
we cleared this up like i went i messaged her and told her you quote unquote cleared it up after the whole angelica owes the back when i hear i message this fan or this small youtuber to set the record straight i get a little worried if keisha told her what she's telling us in this video then she lied is she really reviewing this but she's so against it like she literally made a video against this lady facts and so my thoughts about it were like either she they sent her this product and she doesn't know that it's from the same lady that she is totally against. And that's an amazing point. That's an amazing point. I didn't know the lady that I featured in my skin bleaching, my skin bleaching video was the same exact lady that reached out to me. I doubt it. I was just shocked because this brand from Gretty completely promotes skin bleaching. And I didn't know that because she didn't make it clear in my email. But you saw the website. Guys, if you go to this website, you cannot miss the skin bleach at all. It's everywhere. Even the freaking background is white to subliminally emphasize the point. If a company is selling products to bleach your skin, do you think that they're for skin bleaching or against it? When she told me to pick out items, I was like, okay, I'm, I even said that in the beginning. I know what kind of products you probably would want me to go for, but I'm gonna go for certain items and they weren't in stock. So then she gave me some like apricot scrub, which has nothing to be bleaching, just a scrub in general, a face mask which is for glowy skin, and then the creams. She didn't respond to the claim that this girl was making. This girl said that she was shock you would promote a brand that stands for skin bleaching and Keisha just said the email wasn't clear enough and I picked out items that did not bleach skin. A brand consists of all the products it sells not just the ones you picked out Keisha. Keisha completely avoided answering the claim because she knew that there was no excuse and that she would look like a hypocrite. No wonder she had all this guilt in her heart. Thank you. Any of my supporters, anybody who watches me, I'm so against colorism, yeah. I know that you're not a colorist and I'm not claiming that you are a colorist, but you are being a hypocrite. Imagine if Jackie Aina or another popular black creator did this, Keisha would be on them. But since it's her and she's an unproblematic commentary queen, of course she can do no wrong. Period. Yeah, very bad image, but Keisha chose to do the ad for the brand, and the brand gets to do whatever it wants with this ad. They paid her for this. They're not just going to take it down because she asks. She posted it on her IGTV, so I thought that was it. So the fact that you posted it on your YouTube channel. In this video, you literally said you told her she could put it on YouTube if she wanted to, and now that she did what you told her she could do, you're upset. I don't even think she needs your permission anyway. It's her ad. She can do whatever she wants with it. And she titled it, reviewing most hyped and best skincare products. In brackets, she puts, it's Keisha Shade. Like, you don't even know me like that. That's what annoys me. It's like, you don't even know me like that. My name isn't, it's Keisha Shade. It, it, it's not my name. My YouTube name is, it's Keisha. My music, my music name is Keisha Sade. It's just rushed. Everything is rushed here. Everything is just like, you don't even want to get to know me as an individual or know what I'm about. I doubt that sponsors get to know whoever is promoting them beyond things like, do they have a passable reputation and do they have a big audience? Audible sponsors sponsors many creators, do you think that they sit there getting to know each of them individually and learning about them as people? No. And listen, I have my opinions on Gretty, yet even I can see that you're being unfair. If the deal doesn't fit your brand, decline it. Simple. And the fact that you thought I was really gonna make a, a dedicated video just for you? The fact that you thought I was gonna make a dedicated video just for you? Well, that's what she paid you for, and after you did it on your less popular platform because you were embarrassed, she posted it on her channel. She took my IGTV video, put it on her YouTube channel, and turns out what this lady did was she decided to like react to my video. She said that she would react to your video in an email, so you should have known. At this point, I'm willing to believe that Keisha didn't read any of the emails. So let me just skip to the part that annoys me the most. All I'm purchasing this for is for the glow. There are other items on the site that you guys might not go for because there's a lot of bleaching products that get lighter, like if you want your face to get wider. If you want people to just purchase skin bleaching products, take off everything else. Gretty promoting her skin bleaching products with Keisha's video bothers Keisha, but Gretty's just trying to promote her brand. It's just that 54% of her products are skin bleaching products, so of course she's gonna promote those too. Keisha, you knew this. You signed up for this. I don't want to promote that. You indirectly promoted it. And it's got 12 dislikes, which are probably from... 
people who watch me who are probably confused yeah because they thought you would never do something like this but you did so the skin bleaching video is still up on my channel if you guys haven't watched that go and watch it she took it down interesting all the products that she sent to me even whether even if i felt they were good or not i thrown them out because i would rather why am i gonna mm -mm. oh so it doesn't matter if they're not skin bleaching products what matters is that they are from a brand that supports it you just invalidated your whole video with that one sentence congratulations you just wasted my time i feel like an idiot i could have just played this one sentence after explaining the situation and ended the video there if someone tries to try me i'm gonna come 10 times harder and give you nothing but the truth yeah whatever everything is bullshit shenanigans at this point just put the nail in the coffin and she knows that she can't make a video response because i've literally baited out everything she did make a response video that's where i got the extra receipts why do we keep learning not to trust anyone i don't think you guys should trust me either just to be safe i can be a bastard and i'll be the first to admit that i have no words i feel like i've used all of them in this video people ate this video up the last thing we're gonna do is check out what comments keisha liked how are they going to expose you? You are the least problematic person here. Slay you, problematic queen who promoted a company that encourages skin bleaching and tried to hide it. It's kind of sad to think that a lot of women from Nigeria bleach their skin because they make you more desirable to men and makes you seem more wealthy. It's horrible that this woman tried to use you and your name to represent a thing that you were vocal about disliking. Yeah, it was horrible how this woman forced Keisha to take this brand deal and forced her to get paid for it. She exposed herself the moment she tried to expose you. But Gritty never tried to expose her or made an expose about her. Unless you're talking about the other girl, in which case I'm pretty sure you're not because Keisha is cool with her. It's very confusing. This video is so long and I hope that that's a good thing. Happy holidays and bye.